remember those days, those L's I couldn't sleep right now I get paid, fake games, stay in peace I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign I don't need that energy around me I just need sun, you're so cloudy I wake up good, you're so grouchy Please get from around me When the truth don't work, you start telling lies Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride so guys, let's see some half guard attack options from below with efficiency. What do I need to do? I will not allow my opponent to distribute his weight and dominate me. How do I avoid this? By simply pushing? No. I will frame and I will get my top knee in between us. By doing so, I don't let him put pressure on me, right? What's the next move? Most of them will be looking to grab the head. This is normal. Whenever he's trying to reach for my head, gripping over or under, I'll secure his elbow, pull it and swim with my arm under. From here, I can get the knee bar or the toe hold, and if he spins, I'll get the knee bar. Leg lock de novo, que é o Nibar. Again, what do I do if I wish to release some of the pressure my opponent wants to put on me? First thing I need to do is to place my forearm under his neck, okay? When I put my arm under his neck, I frame and hip escape by moving my hips at an angle. I've created some space, okay? When I open the space, I can insert my knee and create a shield. What is he going to do? Probably secure my head to start passing the guard, right? What do I do when he grabs my neck? On either side, I will secure his elbow, and as I pull up, I will also grab his heel, placing both my legs on his body, using the three-point pressure, go for the knee bar or the toe hold. If he spins, I'll switch back to the knee bar. Always crossing the ankles, like this. One foot on either side to increase the pressure on the knee. Basically guaranteeing the submission and making it indefensible. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to follow this principle. So when pressure is on the three points, my knee, my foot, and my hands on his leg, the position becomes indefensible. That's why we have to focus a lot on those pressure points, because when the pressure points act together in unison, aligning perfectly, you will always get the submission. So guys, from this position, as you can see, I will start from here and you will see that there is no way for the opponent to tap, okay? So what can you do if you can't tap? This brings me back some memories from the UFC when I fought Nate McQuard. I got into this position, he screamed, I let him go, ending with him knocking me out. So by letting go, I lost the fight. That's why I ask you to pay close attention when doing the submission. I stretch the leg, he screams. If he spins, I turn and do the same again. You have to pay attention to the verbal tap. The submission is very fast and powerful. You have to be very careful to avoid serious injury. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now I get paid, fake game, stay in peace I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign I don't need that energy around me I just need sun, you're so cloudy I wake up good, you're so grouchy Please get from around me